the bike is sounding wonderful again. Good, uh, good morning. Yes, it is morning. <laughs> good morning. Wheelers at large, we're out again. Day 13 of our November challenge. Monday morning. And it's it's not raining, R raining. I wasn't going to mention the no. weather actually, I was going to use your tactic. <laughs> if you want your PR down Queen's Park Avenue, today's the day to do it. <laughs> yeah, strong wind. In the bus lane, outside the hospital. It's a bit quieter than usual. There's nothing behind, we can take the lights. Yeah, so the temperature's shot up. We're up to the mid-teens. It's very windy. So I'm assuming these winds have blown some temperature across from the Caribbean. That's kind of what happens here. That's why we get storms a couple of days after they get hurricanes. Oh, lovely. I did put my gaiters on. Good job I did. You know you made me a coffee? Yeah. I only had a mouthful. Yeah. I keep thinking about it. Because oh. I didn't finish it or have enough of it. I keep thinking, oh, I've got half a coffee somewhere. I keep thinking about it. I want it. I didn't do very well at getting up this morning. Mike did. He was very organised and organised me. I got on the scales this morning. Mike didn't, so I'm, I'm not even going to reveal what I did or didn't lose. We'll do it tomorrow. So, Julie says that I was more organised than her. It's not entirely true. Uh, Monday should be weigh-in day. I forgot, because I was being organised. So, we'll talk about that tomorrow, shall we? Well, we've done five miles already. Somebody's thrown a, a rope around the back of the bike with a big weight on it. Modern bike lights, as great as they are, it's not the lumens that come out the front that seem to be the issue. There's plenty of those. It's how long the battery lasts. Seems that as long as manufacturers hit an hour and a half, they're happy. We'll leave it at that. To be honest, on the rides we do, that's not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. We use magic shine lights, and they're pretty good. The rear ones, I think, are exceptional. They've got some fantastic innovations, like the 360 light, the CME 300, and their radar light, 
in our experience of riding with others, is as good as any Garmin radar and has enough settings for pretty much every situation. And in the daytime, you can have it so it's switched off and only lights up when there's a vehicle approaching. So 100 mile rides, no problem. But front lights, yeah. If they put a big battery on them, they just make them brighter. It just burns through. This is Southbourne Grove. Uh, it's windy. Oh, I'm flashing. Yeah. Oh, look at him go. I'm not going. Come on, Jimmy. You can do it, you can do it. You can, you can, you can. You know you can. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, says Thomas. I can do it. Heading into Boscombe. Those of you who used to live in Bournemouth, this was Christchurch Road and went straight through. It's now pedestrian. Yes, the road goes off to the right, around the back of the shops and then joins back up at uh, Palmerston Road. We still have a market here. I think it's a Saturday. Yeah, the meat van and all that. So it's still got a little vibrant community going. Not at this time in the morning, obviously. But uh, yeah, quite a lot going on in Boscombe still. better. <laughs> Wind behind. I'm going to have fun coming to work this morning, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, car. If you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching us. Click the like button and join us for day 14. 14 tomorrow. And I'm saying nothing about the weather. No. Nothing. No. I'm going to go and find my coffee. I'll have a fresh one as well, but I will reheat the one that's waiting for me.